When your grandkids live far away, it may feel like a part of your heart lives with them. And the long distance phone calls may be one of the only means of connection. So today we'll help you make the most of those grandkid chats, sharing ways to connect through a call or a FaceTime or a Skype, however you do it, Dr. Jennifer Cummings is joining me. I'm so glad you're taking on this topic because we know that you're steeped in the research and can offer us those sound communication strategies. And this could really apply to any type of digital yeah. conversation, right? Yeah, the it advice. Can. I mean, that's so common for all of us now and we have to get better at it. I, I admire the challenge to improve because it doesn't, and it doesn't take much, I think, with grandkids specifically. My kids light oh. up at any chance to talk to their grandma or their I grandpa, know. their nana and their papa. So you have five things nanas can do to connect with their grandkids through the call. First, you say you can start planning the next thing, planning the next visit or the next activity. Yeah, you know what I love about this one is that you learn so much about your grandchild and you, you learn what they wanna do, how they like to spend their time, what they love about being with you. And I think it also teaches them organizational skills as you're talking and planning it out and you think it teaches them that. And also anticipation is half the fun. So it's, we all look, need something to look forward to. Absolutely, but going into the call with that in mind, here's mm -hmm. a great idea, share a bedtime story. Read a story over the phone or over FaceTime. Yeah, I mean, how fun, especially on a night that maybe your child's having a hard time to be able to call and have Nana read a story, or you could just designate a night, like every Tuesday night, and have it be something that they look forward to, having story, prayers, um, favorite thing of the day, sharing, or whatever, just to end the day with Nana. I have a favorite picture of my daughter, Emmy. She was six, I think, and she really wanted to watch a movie with Nana, who lives a humble 45 minutes away, but still not yeah. feasible on a Tuesday afternoon. So it was her holding the iPad up so Nana could watch the movie with her. Oh, that's cool. Didn't last the length of the movie, but the idea yeah. kind of stands to share something together. It is. Yeah. You say we can also share talents, Jennifer, over the phone. Yeah, this is one of the favorites in our family. We'll have talent shows. People, our little grandkids will sit down and play the piano. I love this. Or if they gave a presentation at school or a talk at church or something, they'll give it to, uh, over Zoom to grandma and grandma. And it's just really fun chance for them to um, share talents. Also, cooking is a fun one, mm. especially like have Gran have Nana share the talent and teach them how to cook something over the phone. Or we saw a lot of families do that during the pandemic, right? Yeah. There was a family cooking night, and I hope those those traditions or those activities haven't stopped. Yeah. How do we throw a virtual party? Well, something fun, and a lot of business teams do this, is that they will ha they'll order takeout for everybody at their home. Everybody gets the same thing or the favorite thing that they like, and then they'll get on a Zoom call and have a meeting. So a fun way to have a grandchild party order them a pizza or their favorite food you get it too everybody gets on and has a party play some games that um, talk as you're eating the same food let's talk about how to draw out more meaningful conversation you say that starts with meaningful questions yeah I think one of the neat things that grandparents can do is parents um, sometimes have their questions get in the weeds about just getting through the day, but grandparents have the zoom out lens about the big picture. Yes. They can come in with really meaningful questions like, what's the, what's the biggest thing you've learned in fifth grade? Or, you know, tell me about a really good friend you've had this year. Or what are you most looking forward to in high school? And they just are able to help that child step back out of their day to day and look, at, look backwards at their life and forward at their life in a different way. And I think grandparents can really help with that perspective. Yeah. You're right. Parents are often stuck in the stuck in the myopic or the mundane, and parents, can, grandparents can go big mm -hmm. picture. Uh, let's pivot if we can and talk about ways Nana can connect with their adult kids or even their adult grandkids who have yeah. more conversation skill and a yeah. little less time. You say. Make it easy, make it easy for them to communicate with you. Yeah, I think we just wanna make it happy and pleasant. So it, it, we could go to two extremes. One is you never call enough and then when they call, we kind of give them a hard time. Or the other mm. is I'm too busy, I can't take your call. And I think that we need to really cherish the time to connect with our adult kids. And so to the extent that you can, set aside some time, drop what you're doing, be act happy to hear from them, go to a quiet place and really give them that time and enjoy it. And if you can work your schedule around theirs, like sometimes I'll know when my daughter's commuting to and from class and I'll just make sure that's free time that she can call me or I can call her. And you're available. Yeah. Like we always say shoulders to the conversation, like yes. energy to the conversation. That's right. I like you the can hear it. appeal to be quiet and to try to focus. Yeah, it's, you don't want to make them feel like they're competing with your life. Yes, well said. We've got about 30 seconds. I like this suggestion, take notes. Yeah, take notes. Well, especially if you don't get to talk to them often or there's a lot going on. But take if they're telling you something complicated about school, friends, work, mission, taking notes is great because the next time you can be like, 
following up and oh this is the person who said that and how did this turn out you can and be in the details the names yeah that's an, it's a lot to remember mm -hmm. ask thoughtful questions we talked about that mm -hmm. even with adult children you say you can experience a TV show a book or a movie and finally you say these conversations should be used ultimately to build each other up but to build them up yeah I think just remember that they are still a fascinating interesting lovable person to us and we want to know them and also we may not get to see them day to day to give them those little boosts of oh you look great or, or great job cooking that or whatever so notice other things they're doing like you made such a great decision there you handled that stressful situation so well you are the way I hear you parenting is so admirable just mm -hmm. really make sure that they leave feeling built up my mom every day tells me so, what a good mom I am and it every day yes. it means something and my mom did too and yeah. it just this this topic has really had me thinking about her and how much I cherish those little boosts and connecting with her. It means a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. Jennifer, thank you. Dr. Thank Cummings, you. thank you so much. We'll post these suggestions on our website if they were helpful. So you can revisit and have fresh ideas the next time you pick up the phone.